Hi and welcome to another very exciting video. Today I'd like to talk about some of my personal highlights of WWDC 18 and how I feel about Apple's most recent announcements. And I must say that the coolest thing isn't even here yet. And I'm talking about the new developer framework for Mac apps that was announced for 2019. With this new framework, Apple plans to merge the foundational frameworks of AppKit and UIKit and thereby make it a lot easier for us developers to port existing iOS apps to macOS. And from what I've seen in the new stock, news, voice memos and home app, this looks very promising. But let's talk about the things that are available right now. My personal highlight is CoreML 2. Since it was introduced last year, I have really enjoyed working with the CoreML and Vision framework and also different machine learning models. Not only did model processing become faster this year and the model file sizes can be drastically reduced, this year Apple simplified the process of creating custom machine learning models. It was already easy with TuRecreate and a little Python code, but with CreateML, the process of creating custom machine learning models became incredibly simple and fun. And I'll release a tutorial on CreateML very shortly, so be sure to subscribe if you do not want to miss any WWDC 18 related videos. A second big update was announced for ARKit, and here I'm still a little skeptical. I haven't seen an augmented reality app that was really useful for me, nor did I have any breakthrough idea for AR use cases myself. But with the ability for shared AR experiences, I think the possibilities for games are really lifted to a whole new level. Also, object detection and tracking is really fascinating. ARKit 1.5 added support for 2D image detection, letting you trigger an AR experience based on 2D images like posters, artwork, or signs. And ARKit 2 extends this support to offer full 2D image tracking, so you can incorporate movable objects like product boxes or magazines into your AR experience. But since I I'm not a 3D artist, I'm very much looking forward to the software that was briefly teasered by Adobe. It is called Project Arrow and will allow designers to create AR content using tools such as Photoshop and Dimension and for the first time they'll have the ability to lay out and manipulate designs in physical spaces, making AR creation more fluid and intuitive. Let me know what you think about AR and if you plan to use ARKit in the future. And now before we talk about Siri and the workflow, uh, I mean the shortcuts app, let me share one Swift related news that I found particularly interesting. And with Swift 5 coming in 2019, Apple plans to deliver Swift with the OS, so there will be no need to include the Swift runtime with apps, which will result in smaller downloads and faster launches, and I think that's pretty awesome. Now, what about SiriKit? The most interesting aspect for me is that you are able to expose your own application to Siri in different ways now. You can be visible in Siri suggestions and in the new Shortcuts app, formerly known as Workflow. And I really believe that the Shortcuts app will make Siri a lot more powerful because you can add the features you want practically by yourself. However. I have mainly seen pro users using the workflow app, and so I'm not really sure if the average iOS user will find that shortcuts app easy and intuitive enough to really benefit from it. What are your thoughts about this? Let me know it in the comments below, and make sure to subscribe if you do not want to miss any tutorials that cover interesting WWDC 18 topics. I thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.